Now you may remember this little Yagi from a uh, couple of videos ago and one of the things I wanted to find out with this Yagi is whether orientating this little uh, patch antenna here um, would change things, would make it a little bit more powerful because as I said um, normal uh, thinking around a patch antenna like this would be that uh, it's uh, radiating in this direction and because it's got no back reflector from the back here so if you twisted it around the other way let's say like this one here um normal thinking would uh, say that this is going to uh, work a lot better than uh, something that's uh, orientated like that and i wanted to test that and first of all i came up with this design uh, to test it so we can just turn the little patch antenna on there but I kind of uh, ran ahead with this and then I realized that as soon as you turn it so that's the normal way as soon as you turn it like this then you've messed all the uh, parasitic elements and the back reflector up because they're now further away than the main driven element so I had to go back to the drawing board and I came up with this design now with this particular design I've made uh, everything move so now when we orientate the patch antenna in this direction what I can do is push the parasitic elements up closer so they're mathematically they're where they should be and the back reflect here I can turn this around and then push it up against there so now everything is aligned the the correct distance away from the main driven element so then we're not having a, an offset and then that's something we can test so we can test it in uh, this direction first and then we can turn it into this orientation and we can test it like this so let's take it over to the test bench and i'll uh, i'm going to do a near, near field uh, test first with this and then we're going to test it at a longer distance where we uh, set up a test signal using a router and then uh, we can just scan and see if we see any improvement uh, when we uh, change the orientation of this little patch antenna but uh, yeah i mean i was pretty pleased with this when i first built it and then uh, you know when i came to hook it up and i looked at it and then i realized you know i'd run ahead to to ahead with myself without really thinking it out properly but uh, still an interesting uh, design it's just you know you should really put your ideas down on pen and paper first before you run ahead and start uh, making your prototype but uh, we got there in the end so this is the experiment that i've set up then just to see if there is uh well if it performs better changing uh, the panel antenna around in this yagi here so this is my prototype uh, over here um on the other side of the bench i've got a known 2.4 gigahertz yagi here um connected to a power sensor this is something we've seen on our channel before a nice little yagi we know it works well i've got the uh, readout and the power meter over there hopefully uh, you can see that i've got the brightness turned up as far as it'll go without blurring um so i'm feeding in a 2.4 gigahertz signal into our prototype here and uh, that's being picked up with our reference antenna here connected to our power meter and at the moment you can see on the screen there we're about negative 20 dbm we'll just zoom in again negative 20 dbm or thereabouts it does fluctuate a little bit it's uh, really sensitive especially if i move around but uh, what i'm going to do now is i'm going to change the configuration of our prototype yagi i'm going to turn everything around and i'm hoping that uh, instead of negative 21 dbm on the screen over there it's going to be around negative 15 dbm and if it is then certainly swapping this around uh, in a future build will have a definite increase at least in the near field and will perform a lot better and that's my theory as well that it would perform better so i'm going to do this on the fly i'm not going to edit it in any way so let me change it around now we're at negative 20 dbm it's kind of leveled off at negative 20 so let's turn this around And we'll just let everything settle down. Uh, 
and we're at negative 15 dBm. I'll just uh, stop moving, zoom in on that screen so you can see for yourself. And if I sit still, negative 15 dBm there, so a definite increase in power that's being picked up from our prototype and being picked up onto our reference antenna here. So certainly it is an increase. So this is the uh, second test then. I've got my laptop here because we're running Vista Stumbler. I will superimpose the screen on the uh, video so you can see it more clearly. I've got my little Yagi here and it's just at bench height. I've set up a test signal which is uh, at my kitchen window. Um, basically it's got to go through three brick walls it's uh, 50 just over 50 meters away and uh, I've got my car in the middle as well so not the best place to position it but hopefully that will give us a fair test we're looking for an increase in the signal like we saw on the uh, power meter there so this is a very simple test what I'm going to do is just connect to the uh, test signal and then uh, look at the differences with Vista Stumbler so here we are then scanning at the moment connected to uh, the uh, test signal that I've set up and we're around about minus 50 dBm on the graph at Vista Stumbler and it seems uh, you know a pretty stable signal there there's not a lot of uh, dropouts at all so what I'm going to do now is reconfigure it into the uh, optimized position and see if we see uh, a uh, signal increase it takes a little bit of time for Vista Sumbler to uh, update, there's a little bit of a lag, but hopefully we'll see a bit of a difference. So I've reconfigured it. Just give it time to update. And we're starting to see quite a jump. Minus 40 dBm there. And it jumped above minus 40. It seems to be pretty stable around that mark so definitely a definite 10% increase there so I certainly think uh, the way to go is have the uh, patch antenna pointing uh, the way we've got it now on the bench definite performance gain with it uh, that way so I hope you uh, found this uh, little video useful. It's not something that I would normally film, but a lot of you have asked for this uh, kind of thing. Uh, you know, how I come to my conclusions and my designs. Normally I would just show you the finished article, but uh, as I say, hopefully you found that interesting. And certainly by those two little tests, we can definitely say that this configuration is the way to go with this particular design. And the things I use there are not, expensive pieces of equipment either i mean andrew cuthbert who uh, put together vista stumbler um, really put together a nice little software package there and using vista stumbler for something like that is a lot better than using something like insider insider is a completely different tool altogether from that but i've uh, been playing around here and uh, this is one of my early versions this is how i'm probably going to uh, end up having it uh, uh, made and built and um, these are in the wrong positions by the way but uh, basically what I'll do is etch the pattern uh, the parasitic elements onto the PCB and then cut out and actually use a, a panel uh, antenna like this in uh, this orientation and as you can see from uh, this video where we built this one and we were pleased with that um, I've gone ahead again and uh, changed the uh, little uh, patch element in uh, in this from uh, that original one there and I'm now going with this one here that has a little bit of a cutout on the top it's a little bit slimmer as well um, I am looking at a way to try and feed this though from not from the bottom 
from around uh, this area here just to improve the SWR but the SWR is something that uh, you know I'll be looking at once I've got my basic design figured out and I'm really hoping that this is going to fit inside a cantenna and uh, produce a really good Yagi in a can. So if you did enjoy this video please uh, give it a uh, thumbs up and uh, you know any comments or questions drop them below I'll do my best to answer them but if there's any Yagi aficionados out there who can give us a few pointers uh, on how we can uh, improve this particular design even more then uh, please uh, let us know in the comments and uh, if you do uh, enjoy these videos and you want to help support the channel then please pop over to Patreon link is in the description and uh, hopefully you'll join me on the next one